What's going on everyone, Kellen Rec here, and today we're gonna to cover composition settings and export settings in the latest version of Adobe After Effects. People are always asking me, how do I create a composition? Why are my resolutions off? Why are my video exports so slow? Well today, we're gonna to fix all of these issues. So once we're in After Effects, we can start by opening the Composition Settings panel. You can either click this button here to create a new composition, or you can hit Command-N on a Mac, or Control-N on a Windows. Now, let's drag this down. You're gonna wanna start by naming your composition. You can name it whatever it is you're working on, whatever name feels right for you to keep organized. So I'm just gonna call this Test Composition. And here, we can grab a preset. Now I'm gonna start by just going with a custom preset because we're gonna be building out everything we wanna do here. So next we have the option to choose the size, the resolution of our video, our composition here. So this is basically choosing the resolution of the canvas you're working in. So if this is a standard full HD video, we'll go with 1920 by 1080. This is most likely what you're gonna be working in unless you were doing some sort of vertical video, a square video, but if you want your general video, it's 1920 by 1080. Next, we'll go with the pixel aspect ratio square, and we're gonna leave this at 30 frames per second. I think that's just a little bit smoother than our 23.976, and because this is typically animation, the smoothness is going to look a little bit better here. Uh, we can leave our resolution third. This is basically saying what resolution we're gonna be viewing our screen at. The lower this is, the lower your quality, obviously, but the smoother it is on your computer. So if you're dealing with a lot of different keyframes and animations, that you'll wanna have this just a little bit lower so that you're not bogging down your computer as you try to render out your views. Uh, start time code, I'll always leave it zero, and duration is how long you want your animation to be. So typically, depending what I'm working on, I'll start with this probably in the 20 second range. If I'm just working on something like a lower third, something small like that, I don't need these big long compositions. So these will typically be a little bit shorter. And background color, doesn't matter all that much, but I like to just leave it black to start so that I can see what it is I'm working on. And then you just hit okay and you've got yourself a composition. It's as easy as that. Creating a composition in Adobe After Effects can be extremely daunting, but really you're just building out the canvas for your work. Now, let's take a look at exporting your completed composition. So when you're ready to export your composition, you're gonna wanna open up the export settings panel. This is Control plus Command plus M on a Mac and this is Shift plus Control plus M on a Windows. Now, this just opens up this kind of lower third box here, so it's a little bit different than some other programs, but there's a couple things we can do to actually export out our composition. And again, very confusing for someone who's new to this, so I wanna walk you through. So this is basically a render queue. So we can see all different things. There's only one layer here, but if you had a bunch of different things, fall into this queue, you could set each of them and After Effects would export them all in order. So we only have to worry about one right now and it's our test composition. And you can see that the status says it needs an output. So we have a couple options here. There's render settings, which we'll go in and change, our output module and output two. So let's start with our render settings. All of these settings by default should be fine. You shouldn't have to worry about changing any of these so you can make sure that this matches the way it looks on your screen and hit okay. Output module is where we'll be able to choose the video type. Now this is very much like if you're exporting a video in Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got similar choices here. So format, again, most of the time we're gonna wanna go with H.264, no worry about a post render action. And then format options, this is where we'll set our target bitrate. Typically I'll like 15 and we can leave hardware encoding on and a lot of other options that you shouldn't have to worry about if you wanted to resize or crop. Don't worry about any of that. We just need video output selected and we can hit okay. And finally, we'll choose our output location. I'll call this test composition, save, and then we can choose to render. And you'll see that it'll have a little status bar line and the video will be exported. Now, let's say that you were exporting something like a lower third and you wanted there to be an alpha in the background. So let's just make some text here. Test video. 
You've got your text and obviously this background we had set with our sequence as black, but if we click this button, we can see that there's actually a transparency behind it. Well, let's say that we want that transparency to show because if we did what we just did, there won't be a transparency. So we open up our export settings again. Our render settings are fine, but it's our output module we'll wanna change. If we leave this as H.264, we're gonna have the issue where the black background will show. There's no transparency in an H.264. So we need to change this to QuickTime. We'll need to change our format from ProRes 422LT to ProRes 4444. This allows for an alpha channel. Now we can go in and change our channel to RGB plus alpha. This means that it's going to take whatever RGB values we have in our composition, and it's also going to export out the alpha layer. So we'll hit OK here, and we'll change our, comp our name of the video to Test Composition Alpha, and we'll render. Now you can see the difference in our videos. Our first video has that black background. Obviously we didn't add the text here, but were there text, it would just be a black background. But our second video, actually this black background is a transparency. So you would not see that when you are exporting, when you are placing it over other things in your video. So that is how you export with an alpha channel. It's that ProRes 444. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, write a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video and if you need any other help with any other questions. Otherwise, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more and we'll check you back in the next one.